Okay, so the move is actually only done between three fingers, your thumb, your pointer finger, and your pinky, but the starting grip is only between two fingers, which is your thumb and your pointer finger. So this is what the starting grip looks like. The thumb goes in the top left corner, and the pointer finger goes in the top right corner, and then the deck is elevated above your palm. So you don't want the deck to be in your palm like this, otherwise it's gonna be very hard to pull the card out with your pinky. So once again, the cards are elevated with the other fingers spread out between these two fingers, like so. Okay, so once you get into the proper grip, which looks like this, when you're ready to shoot the card, you're gonna bring your pinky over to the bottom right corner of the packet, like so. Like I said, the grip is only between these three fingers, so when the card is shot, you don't wanna use your middle or your ring fingers because if you do that, the card is not gonna fly straight and it's gonna be very difficult for you to catch. Now the actual motion of shooting the card with your pinky is something that's pretty difficult and is going to take quite a bit of time to get down. But the general motion is you're going to take the pinky and pull down very quickly until the card releases from the top left corner, like this. And once the card is in this position, as you pull down, it should be able to shoot out into your opposite hand. Now the motion is something like this, where you're pulling down and not out. So make sure that when you pull the card, motion is downward and that your hand is tilted like so so that the card can be shot out at the right angle. Now it's important to note that when you're doing this and you're pulling the card down you don't want the card to get stuck underneath the pack like this. So it has to be fast enough and you have to give yourself enough room so that the card is able to fly out without being trapped. Like this. I think a good way to avoid this is instead of pulling straight down into your palm like this the motion should be down and then out so that your pinky is curled like this. So once again, instead of going into your palm, it's down and then out. So the motion should look like this. Now getting to the point where you can do this consistently is gonna take a really long time. So I suggest before you learn how to catch the cards, you just get into the proper grip and practice shooting the cards out like this without catching them. Now the catching aspect of the card with your opposite hand is pretty self-explanatory. It's just something that you learn with time and practice depends how far apart your hands are and how hard you shoot the card with your pinky. Um, in my opinion, I think a couple inches shorter than your shoulder width is what's optimal. Um, if it's too far apart, it's gonna be hard to catch the card, and if it's too close together, uh, the card is not gonna really have that much time to fly. But like I said, it's just something that you have to gauge on your own and something that you'll learn with practice. Now this move has a lot of cool applications, a few of which I showed at the beginning of the video. So if you want a few ideas of how to use this production, you can go back and check those out. Apart from that, that has been the tutorial, and thank you for watching.